In December, Governor Inslee proposed a state operating budget that would provide $750,000 to study breaching the four Snake River dams. And those breaches you oppose. So now the House and Senate budget proposals are out. And there's some good news. There's also some bad news. So tell us about that. Well, the good news is that the House Democrat budget does not contain any funding for studying the breaching of the four lower Snake River dams. But unfortunately, the bad news is that Senate budget does contain that. Let me read from the Senate budget language. It says right here, 375,000 of the general fund state apportionment for fiscal year 2020 and 375,000 of the general fund state apportion for the fiscal year 2021 are provided solely for the office to contract with a neutral third party to establish a process for local, state, tribal, and federal leaders and stakeholders to address issues associated with the possible breaching or removal of the four lower Snake River dams in order to recover the Chinook salmon populations that serve as a vital food source for southern resident orcas. There it is, exactly like what the governor suggested that he would do in the Senate budget, and it will not help the orcas. This is $750,000 and it is a direct attack on farming and farmers. It's an attack on our barge transportation system and it's an attack on our energy supply. This absolutely will do nothing to help either Chinook or the Orca. Governor Inslee and environmentalists say dam breaching is needed to replenish salmon stock necessary to save Orca whales. So what is your response to that? Let's be very clear. There's no scientific data that exists that would show that by breaching the dams, the salmon stocks would return. Dams are not the major obstacle for the fish in this river system. As a matter of fact, they have extensive predation, excessive harvest, lots of other obstacles, ocean conditions that affect their ability to survive in our river system. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says that hatchery production of salmon and steelhead in the Columbia can far outweigh any of the obstacles that the dams present to the salmon. And the orcas that depend on Chinook salmon don't depend exclusively on Snake River and Columbia River salmon. And finally, you know, what if they are wrong? What if they're wrong and we breach the dams and instead of increasing the feedstocks for orcas, we in fact kill the feedstocks for orca? What if we are wrong and we destroy the very river system that the people that live and work in eastern Washington depend upon for both their barging transportation, their power, and their recreational opportunities? So what can folks do to stop this movement? I encourage the citizens to step up and email and call your legislators, all of us, and legislators on the other side from Seattle. Please reach out to the legislative hotline that's on the screen right now. Our government of the people works the best when the people are engaged and involved. And now is not the time to sit back. We have four weeks left. And I encourage you all to reach out and express your story and make it personal to the people who are not affected by this policy proposal.